Hi, I'm Paul Beckwith. I'm with the University of Ottawa Laboratory for Paleoclimatology. I've often talked about uh, geoengineering and how it's absolutely required to stabilize the climate. The three-legged bar stool, just as a reminder, leg one is we need to slash fossil fuel emissions down to zero. But that's not going to be sufficient to uh, solve our problems. Well, first of all, we have to declare a global climate change emergency and act with haste to restore stability in our climate system. So step one is to slash fossil fuel emissions. And um, this is just not happening fast enough. Governments are still subsidizing fossil fuel companies to the tune of over $5 trillion a year, about $3.3 billion in Canada alone. Um, so check what it is in your country. Until governments get rid of those fossil fuel subsidies, which was like a negative tax on carbon or a gift to fossil fuel companies, we, we know our governments aren't serious about solving this problem. Step two of the three-legged bar stool is to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And step three is solar radiation management. One of the ideas is to do cloud brightening. So here's a demonstration in Ottawa of um, what we could do with solar radiation management, okay? It's a trial uh, project. So I'll turn the camera and show you. Okay, so what we have here is we're uh, pumping water through nozzles, generating a very, very fine water drop with which are creating clouds. So you can see the clouds here. Okay, you can see them back here in this trial project. It's quite cold. It's about almost minus 20 degrees Celsius. So we get these nice clouds being formed. And by tailoring the uh, size of the droplet, you can um, make the, the smaller the droplet, the higher the reflectivity of the clouds. So imagine these clouds being generated, low level clouds over the Arctic sea ice um, in the summer with the bright sunlight being blocked and reflected upward from the clouds rather than being absorbed in the dark ocean water warming the ocean. So we could simply have uh, wind powered or solar powered pumps in the Arctic and we can pump seawater through these nozzles and it won't freeze up. Um, there's methods that we can do to ensure the nozzles don't freeze up. And we can generate these clouds in the Arctic um, to cool the Arctic and restore the uh, sea ice. Nothing too much scary about this. So, so these things really do work. It's all just a matter of uh, scaling them up. So thank you for listening to this uh, video. So I'm just about half an hour from Ottawa um, at this experimental research station on uh, geoengineering, uh, solar radiation management to, to uh, generate uh, clouds, which are high reflectivity, to reflect away some of the sunlight, to uh, cool the planet, to give us time to do CDR and, and uh, slash fossil fuels. So thank you for your attention.